The stage is set in the NFC. Lions and Niners in Santa Clara as these two go head to head for a right to play in Super Bowl 58 on CBS. Joe Musso running point alongside the two time champ Bryant McFadden. BMAC, you're only as good as your next one, and this is the next one. Advantage by the numbers, advantage by history will go to the 49ers. Yep. But surface level, when you look at these two teams, put on the same field against one another. What is that first thought? Uh, two evenly matched teams based on what we've seen in the postseason. Uh, we must remember San Francisco because of the first round by only participated in one ball game but when you look at what Detroit has been able to do in the tournament they're playing some real good football and they've been able to showcase a sense of balance now what do we think we will see from the San Francisco 49ers will Debo Samuel be able to participate we don't know but one thing I do believe especially if there's no rain I think we will see more efficiency from Brock Purdy I think we will see more effort from their defense being able to be more productive things that we didn't see mm -hmm. from the San Francisco 49ers last night against the Green Bay Packers but to their fortune they were able to find a way to win that ball game but I like this matchup because the grit that Detroit has been able to display has been well documented the physical nature that they've been able to play with has been well documented as well and one thing I know about the Detroit Lions led by their head coach Dan Campbell they're not afraid they want all the smoke they're looking for all the smoke and they're going to attack this game with that mindset these Lions are such a far cry from the Lions we've grown to know as they put to sleep that streak since 1991 no appearances in conference title games but this is also a San Francisco team that for the last three years has been in this game yeah it's a Lions team that three years ago had two wins. How does San Francisco make that experience an asset in this matchup? Jump out fast. Yeah. Get out to a fast start. It was like they were kind of sleeping at the wheel last night, and they took some hits, didn't really punch back until the fourth quarter where they found a way to jumpstart an effort to be able to win that ball game. But I can tell you this much, based on what we've seen from Detroit, you don't want to allow this ball club, the Lions, to gain more confidence in the flow of the football game because then you will find yourself in a dog fight. Mm -hmm. And that dog from Detroit, they can hunt, they can fight. So it's about getting up to a fast start, Joe. I've been saying this since the wild, since the playoffs started during Super Wild Card Weekend. The playoff consists of two things when you look at winning teams. Getting up to a fast start and the team that protects the football the best usually find them, themselves in a winning opportunity. That has been the case. So if you're San Francisco, when you look at what they've been able to do the entire season, you don't knock if they're the more talented team. You don't mm -hmm. question that. But that talent against the Green Bay Packers didn't surface for four quarters. Green Bay played, outplayed San Francisco for a little more than three quarters or so, but in, that, in the final moments is where San Francisco found a way to win that ball game. If they have the same start like they did against the Packers, they might need more than a late fourth quarter mm -hmm. heroic comeback because it might be a little too late. Mac, I know you like numbers. I love them. I got numbers. San Francisco, opening. Seven point favorite over under coming in at 51. I just wanted to get your your unbridled reaction there. I'm not going to make you make a pick, but is there an early yeah, lead? You're on that not seven? going to make me or ask me to make a pick, but I will eventually. Me, is there an early lead? Early lead back. Follow with me, camera. All right. <laughs> so there's a lot to process with this line mm -hmm. in regards to betting. What's the status of Debo Samuel? That's huge. That's huge because clearly their offense, they're not the same when 19 is not in the game, yeah. right? So we have to wait and see, but if you want to go ahead and just try to sprinkle an early betting itch right now, you got that little itch, you want to throw something on the line, I take Detroit getting seven points, Joe. I take Detroit, and here's why. The grit. I love the, the grit that they play with, the toughness. And oh, by the way, there are some, some holes within the San Francisco 49ers defensively, right? They couldn't really stop Aaron Jones last night, and because of that, the play action was open. We saw wide open pass catchers. It's the same offensive mentality mm -hmm. with Detroit. They love to run the football. They love to utilize the play action at their disposal. And Jared Goff, if you haven't been paying attention lately, Jared Goff has been streaking. I mean, he's been on fire in regards to his confidence and throwing the football down the football field. And their defense, they just got to find a way to get timely stops. But one thing I do know, they got a guy who can rush the passer, and Aiden Hutchinson. He is the lead singer of their group, and usually he has the mic in his hands, and everybody else just follows suits. And he find a way to do what? 
get home. Mm -hmm. So early lean for me would be Detroit because of, you know, as I mentioned, the status of Debo Samuel and just the confidence that I have in Jared Goff and their team in totality of playing football the right way. The more I look at the seven, the what more look that looks like a no Debo number to me. It felt like just opening line closer to a five and a half number if Vegas was expecting Debo to be a so, part of this one. But that's a great point, Joe, because that's why I think if you really like Detroit in this spot, By now. you jump on it now because if Debo is able to participate, if news comes out Thursday or Friday that he's going to play Sunday, you might see some line movement. You might see a line drop or so, you know, a point, point and a half. And that's an important yes. half point there even if Super we go from important. seven to six and a yeah, half. Yeah, if you can get it at seven and they might drop it down to six, mm -hmm. you know, might drop it down to five and a half, you feel real good. So I think, you know, Hearing what it is now for you guys, it's really you got an itch that you want to scratch real mm -hmm. quick. You'd like Detroit, take Detroit because there could be some line movement if Debo is not able to participate. And I think, as you mentioned, that's about not knowing. So because we don't know if he's going to play yet, let's put it at seven. If he comes out, I feel good, coach. That old play 60 arm is warmed up. <laughs> you might see that line drop a little bit. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. Trying to make sense of these numbers. You can't buy your way to the Super Bowl. No. You'll have to earn that one. It's the Lions and the...